Over recent years, Kate and Prince William have been focusing on a few issues the royal family has traditionally not got involved in. This, according to a former staffer, makes the couple key members of the firm. The source told People magazine that by focusing on initiatives concerning topics such as mental health, Kate and William are playing a really important role in finding a point of connection for a different range of subjects that the family hasn't always connected with. With Prince Harry, the couple started campaigning in 2016 to end the stigma surrounding mental health and have since launched several initiatives to support people struggling. With the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they launched in 2019 Shout, a 24-7 messaging platform people experiencing a crisis can reach out to. The foursome also promoted the NHS initiative Every Mind Matters. Alone, Prince William launched Heads Up, which lasted through the 2019-2020 Premier League with the aim to make conversations about mental health among men as easy as football chats. Moreover, with his wife, the Duke also focused much of his attention during the lockdown on supporting key workers and their mental well-being. In April 2020, the couple backed the launch of the platform Our Frontline, which provides mental health support to frontline staff. During her decade as Duchess, Kate has also delved into the early years and how experiences made during the first five years of life can have an impact on children's development and adulthood. After years of work behind the scenes, in 2018 she founded a steering group with experts. In early 2020 she launched a nationwide study on what the country thinks of the early years and their importance, with the results completed with research and case studies, being released in November last year. Her legacy-making work continued this year, when she created the Center of Early Childhood with the aim to change the way the country think and act on the early years. While Kate and William have embraced causes new to the royal family, they have also built upon the work done by other key members of the firm. Prince William's battle to tackle climate change has surely been inspired by the decades-long work carried out by his father Prince Charles. The Duke of Cambridge created last year the Earthshot Prize, which will award five £1 million prizes every year for the next decade to people who come up with workable solutions to the threats faced by the environment. Upon launching his initiative last October, the Duke conceded to have learned a lot from his father. Appearing on BBC Radio 4 last October, he was asked about the Prince of Wallace stance and warnings on the environment. The Duke said, I regularly wonder what my father's banging on about and I am sure every son thinks the same. But no, publicly, with my father's environmental credentials, he's talked about this for a long time and long before people cottoned on to climate change. So I've always listened to and learned and believed in what he's saying. But I know it's a very hard sell, 40 years ago, to predict and see some of the slow-moving catastrophes we're heading towards. Similarly, Prince William's work on conservation is a continuation of the one done by Prince Philip, who started being interested in this issue in the 1960s. The Duke of Cambridge became the patron of Tusk, which pioneers and promotes conservation initiatives across the African continent, in 2005. Last year, he also became the patron of two conservation charities, Fauna and Flora International and the British Trust of Ornithology, passed on to him by his grandmother and grandfather respectively. Related articles Camilla was livid at William and Kate's future royal roles no better pair. 
Kate and William hailed as match-made in heaven puppet Charlotte as no princess at school but just one of the kids. <laughs>